G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to have another go at my Christmas coasters because that one I did the other day, I just wasn't that happy with. Um, my petals didn't really bloom. Um, I'm going to wait an extra five minutes this time and see if my resin will thicken just a touch. So, I've just mixed it up. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus again. I'm not going to let it beat me just yet. Um, <laughs> I have given another go before I move on to another one. So what I've got is, I've got a little bit of resin, no, probably a third of a cup in here, and this is going to be my red. So it might help if I got my mixing sticks ready. So this time I'm not going to make it quite as dark, because last time I made it really dark, didn't I? I'll start off with a little bit of mica powder, and... One, two, three drops of red resin tint. And this is just going to go around the outside. Look at that. Yummy. This is just um, some mica powder that I made. It's a red with a little bit of um, copper and then this red tint. I'm getting it all over myself. I always make such a mess. So um, I'm going to pour that around. Let's see, does that look? Oh, that's pretty good match, isn't it? Pretty good. The last one I did was a bit too red. As you can see, I cut some more of my little patterns out with my little cutting duvalaki. Oh, now I've got red ink all over it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I try to hurry and then I end up making more work for myself. Let me clean that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brand new. I don't want to get red ink all over it. Okay. All right, let me wipe my hands. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this red around the edge. Okay. Just a little bit. I'm going to pinch this. And then just put a little bit. See what I did last time. Um, what did I do last time? I can't even remember. I put my clear down first. And then I waited for my time to be up. And then I put the red on. But it didn't kind of mix very well. Like it didn't just didn't do what I, what I wanted it to do. So I thought I'll do it this time, this opposite way. If I've got enough red here. I just want a little bit to go around the edge. I'm trying to make it as sort of thin amount as I can. I don't want, don't want too much. It's a bit too much there. I'll spread that out. So like I said, just about a third of a cup of resin. This is just a little uh, four ounce cup. 120 mils. <laughs> I'm gonna run out. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay, pinch some from somewhere. I think if I scrape it, I might just have enough. Scrape that. I'm gonna push that in. You've got a bit much. You can share, can't you? Share. Look at that. It's working. I've got enough, you guys. Yay. It would have been awful if I had to stop and make up more, hey? Well, you're never going to get it the same colour. Now, I'm just going to make sure I've pushed into all these little corners. Not that there's round uh, corners in a round, but you know what I mean. Into all the little crevices there. So this is my... Lotus flower mold. It's just gorgeous. I love it. It's got five points. So not too busy. Not too busy. It's just got five points. And I thought it would be really nice to, for, for flowers for this particular mold. Let's put my stick down. Now I'm just going to wipe this. with my baby wipe 
I don't think it'll really matter, but I'm just trying to get it a little bit more kind of uniform. Alrighty. So now that that's done, um, I've got I've got 60 grams of two ounces in here. Just because I don't want to put it in here because it'll be too deep. So if I put it in here, um, that's going to be for my white. It won't overheat because if you leave it really deep like this, it'll overheat really quickly. So you've got to be careful not to do that. Now the other thing I want to do that I didn't do last time, and I got quite a few bubbles. I put these straight into straight into the resin, and I want to see if I can actually dip them. first and then put them down. I don't know if it'll make any difference but we'll try it because last time I got quite a few bubbles. So this time I thought I'll just dip it first. See if it makes any difference. And then I'm going to get this resin out because it's going to start warming up. I guess I could have mixed it in a shallower container, like one of these. I mean, it's only sitting here for five minutes, but that five minutes, it does, it does heat up, you know? It does. Because this resin sets up really quickly. As I've said before, when I've, I've talked to you about this resin, it's, it's really nice. It's like my favourite so far, but I just want to make sure that I can actually use, use it for flowers, 3D flowers. All right, now... Pour that in, just to the edges, make sure I don't put too much in. You have to allow some room for your white still. I made up 280, about two, 286 I think it was to be exact. Let me tell you, yeah, 200 grams of A and 86 grams of B is what I did. All right, let me just look across the top. And make sure they're all, oh, you need more. So yeah, I've got my white, my, well, I've got my clear resin sitting there for the white, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm happy now that I've got this out. And uh, it can stop heating now. You see the difference already, just having, having the red down first. You sort of get that more blended look. If you saw my video of these last time, yesterday. Uh, it was actually this morning for me. See, it's nice to be able to unmold, get your video up and then get straight into it. Hey, another one. Oh, I forgot to, um, I forgot to spray. I was going to spray my mold with, um, alcohol so that you don't get the bubbles along the edges. And I totally forgot. I'm always in a hurry when I, when I'm, you know, doing these blooms because you've got to, just got to get on with it before your resin sets up too much. That's okay. It, like I said, it's a very low bubble resin. Look at that. There's hardly anything in there. Well, bubbles anyway. <laughs> and the few that are there will just come up to the top and you can, you can torch them. So now let's give this a bit of a push. There are a couple of bubbles there, but nowhere near what there were last time just pushing each little petal and hopefully if there's a bubble there it'll make its way out and then I can zap it do you look at that red look what it's doing it's really spreading out isn't it hope it doesn't take over <laughs> I want to be able to see my flower it's so pretty and it's making like these patterns. See where the points are? It's making its own little petals. All right, now I'm going to torch those that have come up because I've pressed them down with my little silicone stick thing. There's a few more there. Come on, up you come. Up you come. I'm just trying to get them to come up to the surface. Yeah, I should have sprayed first <laughs> with alcohol. All, right, all over. All right, so now, basically, now what I need to do is I'll mix up my red, uh, my white, sorry, 
Um, but then I just need to wait for my resin to thicken. Um, where's my toothpick gone? There. I'm just going to wait for the resin to thicken. Oh gosh, how do I do this now without getting my fingers in it? Something there. Wait for my resin to thicken and then I will do the petals. So I'm going to let it sit for 35 minutes, um, which is, I've got another 15 minutes to go. I don't know what that is. Could be a little blob of unmixed mica powder. Could be. Oh, that's looking so pretty already. Look, I'd be happy just leaving it like that. Look at that. Maybe I should do a video just like this. How pretty is that? And of course, whatever shape your mould is, when the resin pulls in from the outside, it mimics that shape, doesn't it? All right, so that's me pretty much done for the moment. Um, there's another bubble. I'll keep an eye out on the bubbles. Oops, you're not quite in the centre. I'll keep an eye out for the bubbles. And I'll torch them as they come. Um, there's a few on that one too. Um, right, uh, let's mix the white now. So I have got three minutes to go before my 35 minutes is up. So before I can start my piping, although I'm not going to pipe, I'm just going to use my little cup. Right, so I've got the Lorez Angel White and I'm just using a small stir stick. Give that a good stir and then give it a, a scrape and then whatever's left on my stick is what's going in <laughs> and then I'm going to give it a a bit of a squirt just a little squirt we've got one two three four five it's probably about six drops that went in there so let's mix this up I've just taken this one's temperature it's sitting at 38 degrees Celsius each resin's a little bit different like when I'm using the Platinum Ultra Clear, I have to wait till it's about 50 degrees before I start piping. It's just because it's a it's a thinner, visco thinner viscosity resin. It takes much longer to set up. Um, so you've got a little bit more work time, you see. Whereas this one... It sets up really quickly and you've got less work time. Let's have a look at that. You don't want to make your white too heavy, like too opaque. You want it just opaque. Otherwise, the resin that's in here can't support the weight of this white. Like it's too, too dense. It'll just fall through. So that's something to be aware of. So when I tip it like that, I can't see the stick, but when I start tilting, I can see the stick in this half here. That half's got the white on it, so it's kind of stained the stick. But it's just opaque, like milk would be. All right, I'm going to pour this in here. I'm only going to pour half in to start with because it makes it a lot easier to try and do your circles or petals or whatever you're going to do if your cup's not too full that way you can get down a little bit closer all right so it is exactly now 35 minutes so i'm just going to basically do this bubble <laughs> they keep coming i don't know where they're coming from I'm basically just going to do some circles and um go from there so i'll start in the middle I think this looks really pretty just as it is. I'd be happy just leaving it like this. Now it's a bit hard for me to see where I'm going. Oops. Got to, got to keep some for the other. Oh gosh. Got to keep some for the other one. What's the bedding's I don't have enough now. Actually I do have a little bit of resin left over in my other cup. I may have to 
grab that. I figured um, this would be enough. So the resin's really quite thick now. Hopefully I haven't left it too, too long. Catch that. Just want to get it to the outside of the mould. I don't want to get it to touch the mould. I wonder if I've got enough here to do the other two. I was going to throw out that leftover resin that I had in my cup because I had a tiny bit left and then I thought, mm, no, I've got to keep it just in case, you never know. <gasps> when you might need a tiny bit of resin. I'm going to scoop all this out though. Because I'll never get the same white again, like the same <laughs> colour again. I just wouldn't. It's very sticky. I hope it's going to work, you guys. See, last time I did it, I waited 30 minutes. And uh, my resin was a little bit thin still. And the white kind of just fell straight through. So I thought, well, I'll leave it an extra five minutes. And hopefully, it'll be all right. It does feel very thick to me. We'll see. It's the only way you learn is by trial and error. Whoa, that was a bit of a thick one there, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. <gasps> All right. Oh, look at that. I had enough. I had enough. Right. Now, I just want to swirl this kind of blob that I had in the center. Just kind of break that little blob up a bit. That's all pretty good. Oh, there's a bit of a blob there as well. Try and smooth your blobs out if you can. Now I'm just going to whack that with a little bit of heat with my heat gun, just a touch. And one more little zap with the torch because pouring in that white has created a few bubbles. Now, I wonder if it's going to work. Hope I haven't left it too long. We'll just have to wait and see. It is starting to widen. You can see there that those rings that I drew. I didn't pipe them. <laughs> I kind of drew them. They are widening. So fingers crossed that it works. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to follow these little points here and I'm going to draw that resin out into these five little points. So that's what I'm going to do now. doesn't matter if I go right up and over because I'll just clean that off afterwards. I'd rather do that and it goes right up into the corner. I'm not touching the bottom of the mould. I'm just probably going about halfway. Halfway down. And then just clean off that little stick. This is a great little stick, it's just a little point. It came in a set of three uh, and they've got different shapes. So this is the little pointy one that I like to use for this. Wasn't that pretty though, like even before I added the white, how pretty was that resin pattern? I'd be happy with just that. I'm gonna I might even do that again and just do that because that was just gorgeous. So even if these don't work. <laughs> yeah. It is a little bit more tricky, I think, using a medium viscosity resin, which this is, it's a thicker resin. Um, you know 
with a thinner resin I know how long it takes to set up um, and I can pretty much do it 100% of the time but with this one it's a little bit more tricky but like I said I want to I want to challenge myself and I want to know if I can get this resin to do the blooms so yeah now I don't know if I want to do a swirl in the middle or not every time you put your little tool in there and you move things around it creates bubbles so you have to keep torching I just don't know if I want to do a little swirl or not you know I don't think I will I'll leave it because it's making a really pretty little pattern so yeah I'll leave it sometimes I swirl sometimes I don't I'm just I'm gonna don't today <laughs> all right oh look I'm really happy with that it is moving the resin the white is moving um, be interesting to see what it does on the back because the red you know how I had those red patterns it was kind of floating across the top because the mica powder is quite lightweight and then of course the white is heavier so it's sunk through to the the bottom so it'll be interesting to see whether or not you know how much of that red is actually showing so yeah I'm really keen to see what it's going to look like let me get you down for a bit of a close-up I'm just gonna clean up my mess real quick before I take my gloves off you guys just bear with me and then I can take my gloves off because I don't want to have to put them back on again to clean up. Although I'm probably going to have to. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Cleaned up. Let's get you down and have a little look at what's going on here. Okay. So you can see there that the white has spread. I don't know whether it'll close up totally. See it's got gaps in between. And look, I don't mind that either because it'll have this hint of red showing between the flowers, between the petals. Now this one here, I think this first one I did, I think it's going to have more, I did more rings. One, two, three, there we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's got one in the middle there. One, two, three, four. So that one's got five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that one's got five. I got a bit carried away with that one. It was the first one. Um, and then I thought, oh, I might not have enough white resin. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that one's got five. It'll be interesting to see what that, you know, which one looks better having five. I think with five you won't, you won't get as much sort of gap in between because there's more lines. Whereas these ones, you might get more gaps in between. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. I hope this works. All right, it's late. It's quarter to eight in the evening. I just felt like I had to come and do this because the one I did earlier didn't work for me very well. All right, now I will have to wait till the morning to unmold this. But at least I don't have to wait for whole 24 hours, which is lovely. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm very excited. I haven't even had my coffee yet this morning because I'm too, too excited to see how these have turned out. Right, let's jump straight in. Now remember I didn't do the little swirl in the centre that I've been doing. Someone said this mould looked like a poinsettia. I need to give it a name. Does anyone else have a, an idea of what that mould looks like? Apart from a poinsettia or a lotus flower? or Anyway, I'm open to suggestions. I'll need to give it a name. Oh look, we have transparency. So it didn't close up all the way, but I think I can see little bits of red there. I might have to get something to put under it. Hang on one sec. I'll just grab a canvas. Just got this little canvas here that I can 
put it on to show you the the finished results so that you can actually see all right are we ready oh i hope it looks nice oh wow it worked you guys what's that it worked oh wow look at that look at the shimmer on the red actually that red's a nice match isn't it that red with this red you can just see it sort of shimmering there in the in the light that's coming through that window wow i'm so worried that it wasn't going to work it worked it worked it worked see you need something behind it so that you can see wow it's so pretty it closed up pretty much of the way now which is this one one two three four okay that was one of the four ones really pretty love that all right let's get the next one out i guess they're all going to be very similar aren't they comes out so easily all right so because i painted well did the red along the edges i'm sort of kicking myself now that i haven't done a silver flower because all i'm going to have now is the silver edge i will paint the silver the edge silver with my my pen but um, i'm just because i've got the red on the outside and i've got this little bit of sort of red hue all over i just think that now it needs silver in the center but what can you do live and learn hey there we go look at that catching the color there little shimmer oh so pretty all right one two three one two three four that was the four one, two, three, four. This must be the five. One, two, three, four. No. Where are you? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Where's the five? Maybe it's one of these. Must be one of these. <laughs> I can't count five on these two. Alrighty. Let's have a look at this one as well. Oh, so pretty they've worked have worked really nicely and see the the shape of this little flower that I've put in here I just kind of mimics the shape that I've created and you get this beautiful point here look at that so pretty and I've got this tiny bit of red hue that's sort of gone across the top from these right one more this is the one I did five on yes it is come out come out come out come out oops Okay, oops, it's got him. Alrighty, here we go. Oh, I've got it around the wrong way. That's the back, that's the front. There we go. All right, now let's have a look. One, two, three, four. You can see just in there, there's the fifth one, but it's a very small one, little, little tiny circle so I don't think you can actually notice one two three four although the thing that you can see with this one is it's not as transparent so having that little sort of circle in the in the middle first and then doing five total you can just see there's another little one in there but it hasn't made a lot of difference see that one's more transparent you can see through that one more so there we go. I do like the transparency of them. I think that's really pretty. All right, um, I'm going to paint the edges. I'm going to get my silver pen and I'll just show you, just for those that haven't seen me do this before. So this is what I use, the Deco Color Premium. And this is going to take me a little while to do. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the sides like this. 
but I'll go and sit down actually. I'll go and make my coffee and um, I'll take all these with me. I'll pop a little stable table on my lap. I'll sit down and I'll take my time and I'll do all these. So that's basically what I'm going to do. But let's just have a look at the top edge. So once you've done all of those, then you need to just do the top edge like this. For some reason, the silver pen has a bigger nib on it than the gold pen. Or maybe I just can't find the right one. See, this, this nib's a little bit of a, a bigger one to what I'm, I'm used to using. When I, when I use the gold one, it hasn't got such a big nib. So I'm not sure whether it's just this is the one that I've been able to find or whether they're all like that. Let's give it a bit of a shake. If you need to, you can just sort of dot it like that to get the, the paint to come down again. I guess it's paint. And just do the top edge. It's not difficult. It's just a little bit time consuming, I guess, because it's got this all these different shapes. Imagine if you were trying to do this with one that had like smaller little points and things that would be quite difficult and there we go that's the last one done look at that how pretty is that so now you can see what I mean about having the silver in the center rather because now I've only got that little bit of scent of silver so next time and I think maybe next time I won't put quite as much of the red around because it has sort of really taken over but see that's what resin does it pulls from the outside in and that's why you get this bloom effect so there you go. Right, I'm going to do the rest of them and um, I'll set them up for a, a little photo shoot for you a little bit later on. So thank you again for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. These turned out better than the other ones, didn't they? Although you can't see it's not as white as the other ones were because of the red that's come over the top. But let me know what you think, whether you prefer seeing actual red more or do you like these? It's got that sort of red, sort of tiny little bit of red hue over the top. All right, got to go. I'm rambling. I need a coffee. <laughs> I'll see you real soon with the next video. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.